G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines. Talking about a product today that I've used a lot over the last decade, which is called the Power Pole. Now, we've had big hydraulic power poles on the Fishing Monthly boat for the last decade, both in single and dual configurations. And they're a really handy tool for both being environmentally friendly, you're not throwing an anchor out in shallow, weedy water, and also being quiet and stealthy. You don't have to have your spot lock on or you don't have to have a rattly anchor out to keep position in shallow water. Now, power poles are awesome, but the big hydraulic power poles are expensive. It costs around seven or eight thousand dollars for a twin power pole set up on the big fishing monthly boat, and you can see a cutaway of it here. But power pole have a smaller non-hydraulic option, which is called the power pole micro. Uh, the power pole micro anchor comes in a little box like this. It's it's a, a small mechanism that sits on the back of your boat, and it comes with a big fiberglass stakeout pole that it runs up and down. And we're going to do a review on this for Fishing Monthly. But first, we're going to do this in two parts. First, we're going to do a little bit of an install video and show you some of the options to how to get a power pole micro anchor onto a little boat like this. Now, this is Peter Jung's boat. Uh, he's one of the Fishing Monthly ad salesmen, does a lot of shallow water fishing. We thought he would be the ideal person to test out this product. First thing we did, once we decided we needed the power pole micro anchor, we had a look at the mounting options. Now, in this box, it already comes with the hard stuff you need, i.e. a bracket that you can uh, mount onto your boat wherever possible. But there is a second and a much easier option as well. It's called a clamp. You buy this from Hobie, $109 for the clamp. It fits the bracket onto it. And then you can move that bracket, the power pole, either between boats uh, or between sides on your boat. So before we went and drilled all the holes, uh, did all the hard wiring into the boat, we thought we'd pair it with the bracket, get it on the boat and see how it goes. And I'm gonna show you how easy that is to do. So let's break down exactly what makes up the power pole micro anchor. It's a bracket, which uh, we have here, which is gonna fit to the clamp for this session. Uh, and it's also a unit here. So this is a unit that you can power either from the 12 volt battery in your boat or you can be really clever and get a lithium battery which plugs into it so that the whole thing is standalone. Seriously, you can mount this to your tinny and not drill a single hole in your boat. And considering that there are hundreds of thousands of tinnies like this in Australia, I'm sure that some of you are gonna like having that feature of just being quiet, being still in shallow water. It's gonna improve your fishing. Let's uh, see how we put the clamp on the boat. Um, most tinnies have some available space, port and starboard side, and it's gonna be a simple matter of picking the side of your boat, picking your location, and uh, like an outboard, you do up the two, the two knobs until it's tight. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna be able to move this, this bracket sideways, left and right, because the power pole does, uh, does hang down over the boat. We're gonna find the right side. And we're going to find out whether port or starboard is the most suitable for it. This boat here, you've got a, uh, a starboard side uh, helm seat where you sit to drive the tiller drive motor. That may not be the ideal side. So this is going to give us the flexibility to get it in exactly the right place. Now it's pretty easy to work out which way the bracket goes because it only, the shape only fits one way. And in the kit you supplied four of these uh, stainless steel Allen key uh, bolts and some of the nylock nuts for the other side. And uh, it only fits one way. So going from the outside of the boat in, we can screw in. They're not threaded, but they're gonna, they're gonna hold pretty tight to the plastic. They give you the Allen key in the kit. And when it starts coming through on the other side, let's place that, uh, place that little nut in there. You don't even need a, a spanner to do the other side of it. It's gonna, it's gonna grab that. So there you go, once you, uh, they supply the, um, even supply the big Allen key you need, but you'll see that pulling in tight. Uh, you do this four times and your bracket is ready to go. Now that we've got the clamp together, it's now securely fastened onto the port side of the boat here. Time to put the mechanism on, and this is also a zero tool, zero drilling job. Um, it's got small knurled uh, sections on the side, which will allow us eventually to set this pole at whatever height we like and then secure it in. But there's only a few parts to this. I put the pole in here. I put, on each side, I put our mounting lugs. One there, one there. I've got a great big, uh, oops, I've got a great big, 
Got a great big stainless steel bolt that goes through the middle. Let's get that to the right height. And then I've got this magic nut here at the end, which will screw on. And if I get that in the right height, and that's basically level there, I'll, I'll flick a switch. And Pete, you can come around on this side and have a look at it. You see on this side, there's a switch here that I pull across and it pulls it all tight together. So once that's tightened, that is not gonna move anywhere. The clamp's tight, and if I need to tilt it up, flip that over, this will tilt up. I just undo that a little. I can tilt up for travel, so I can put it again there, and away we go. So I think that uh, that ability to level it out, no matter what height your boat's at, uh, makes it uh, very easy to set up. Again, haven't drilled any holes, haven't hardwired anything. Now, when we get to this point, you've got to make the decision whether you use the supplied harness and hardwire it into your boat power, or you'd be clever and you spend nearly 400 bucks on a lithium battery, which is dedicated for the boat, and I'm going to show you how to put that on next. Now, of course, in this first video, we're going to use the battery pack because we're going to keep this uh, whole unit mobile to find out what the best place is to lock into the boat. So let me show you how easy it is to attach the lithium battery pack on the website, $389. Comes with a battery, a charger. It doesn't come with an Australian adapter, so you will have to buy an Australian adapter for it, which is an extra expense. And it comes with this cradle that you put on the power pole. And I'll show you how to put it on. I'll just tilt the power pole down so you can see where we're going to put it. This, the cradle sits over the power pole. So all the hardware is included. They give you the uh, they give you the Allen key. We're going to just tighten up these two Allen key bolts here to pull it tight. Do the bottom one now. I like that they give you all the tools with it. But you usually have the tools. You've got heaps of these Allen keys lying around, but it's it's good to have them all there ready to go. And that's tight now, that sits on tightly. Hey, this is how easy it is. You get the battery, you locate it, and there it is ready to go. And you can see now we've got power and we can hear the mechanism going. So the next thing to do is to take this thing outside, show you how the thing works. So now is where we put all of the bits together and we take advantage of the eight foot uh, power pole spike. And I'll show you how it works with this mechanism. It's a pretty simple, uh, uh, simple way to do it. Drop it in the top there. We've got our unit powered up now with our lithium battery and there are hardwired controls on the unit here. So I can hit the down button, it will go down and I can do it manually. I can hit the up button and it will go up. Now that's, you'd expect that, but in reality, this is what you really do. You wanna double click that button and this spike will go all the way down. It'll feel the bottom and it gives an extra little push in and then it'll keep you in the one location. It gives you decreasing strength of little presses. You don't want that thing going six foot down into the mud. It's gonna be hard to get out and it's got the smarts in it to do that. Now, when you, wanna, when you wanna bring it up, double click the up button and up it comes. It'll come all the way to the top and then it'll just take it down a little bit, ready to travel. So you can travel with that there. If you wanna, if you wanna go under some low trees, if you wanna travel with the pole down, just take the pole out and it sits in your boat there. Also, with the way the clamp is, you can't actually tilt this up and, and tilt it all the way over. You can mount that bracket on top of your hull, it can actually do that. Um, the battery complicates that a little bit, so just remember that if you've got the battery pack in the clamp, you won't be able to tilt that over, but a pretty simple mechanism. Uh, drop it in and the double, the double click, and you're ready to go. Now, you also get this kit which has a few things in it. Now, this is the way that you can control the power pole remotely. Four ways to, to deploy and retract this power pole. One, you can do it with the controls here. Two, there's a second, um, there's a, a boat mounted one. You've got two little screws you can screw into your boat or you can use the simple uh, double-sided tape. This one's gonna live right next to the helm so you can put it up and down from the helm. The third one, you've got a, a, um, a pendant and you know, like all pendant things, you can rig that up, you can uh, swing that around your neck, uh, and that will work exactly the same way as the other ones. Double click up, double click down. I assume these are paired straight from the factory. I'm gonna find that out now. 
It's got that pendant sorted out there. Double clip up, there you go. You don't even have to pair that, it works straight out of the factory. Uh, wonder if this one's powered and paired. There you go, it is as well, ready to go. So both of these remote devices uh, do the job getting it up and down. But the fourth thing you can do, there's a little uh, red button here, it's the Sea Monster app that you have on your phone. So if you want to set up your phone, so it connects via Bluetooth and does all of those functions as well, you can do that. In practice, there's better things for me to do with my phone. I find in my boat, these are the ways that I often do it. Now that we've got the power pole installed, um, we're going to hand over to Peter Jung. He's going to take it out on the water, find out the best side for it, find out how he likes using it before we hardwire it into his boat. Next video, you'll see him doing just that, giving it a test.